Welcome back to Video Tutorials Excel 2013 International College. Day number three. On day three, we are going to be working, we're going to start working with um, empty. This Excel spreadsheet. Okay. So today we're going to be learning how to create a simple workbook. Okay. How to enter labels and values. We use the Addison, edit cell entries enter and edit simple formula and then switch between worksheets and also we are gonna see the different options to print okay so I'm just gonna bring my pointer into my Excel icon that is pinned to the text bar one click and it's gonna open the welcome window now we're gonna start with a new book okay in other versions of uh, Microsoft Excel, every time that we used to open a book, there was always three worksheets. Okay, in this case, there's only one. Okay, this new version, uh, every time that we open a new blank book, it's just gonna open one with one worksheet. Okay, but from there, don't worry because from there we could add as many as we need. Okay, so here we are. Okay, this is my new book. Okay. Now, normally before you start creating um, a spreadsheet, okay, a lot of times we are going to have a little sketch, you know, get in mind what we want to display and what other, other information we want to show, okay? After we have a, you know, like a little sketch, then we could start building up or a spreadsheet, okay? So, right here we're going to go ahead and start adding, okay, some information, okay? So, my cell, uh, actually I have my cell A1, okay? Remember, every time that we click into the cell, that cell is going to have a name. In this case, this is A1. Okay? Now, right here, we're just going to go ahead and start typing. Okay? Welcome to International Okay, let me see one thing. What's going on? Okay, welcome to no, and that. I'm going to come back over here and then rest. start typing. Okay, welcome to International College. Okay, so all we did was click into A1 and then start typing. Welcome to International College. Okay, uh, day three. So that's how we are going to get I mean, input data into Excel. Once we finish, okay, we hit enter, enter on the keyboard, and there, okay, now we have a label, okay, uh, normally every time that you guys work into Excel, you guys are always going to have a title, so this, this will be considered a title, right, but at the same time, it's also will be considered a label, okay, now what are labels, labels, we're going to be using labels, because labels basically are going to tell us what we are going to have into that particular column or into the particular uh, row okay so there we are okay we have welcome to international college okay i'm going to click on a3 and uh, right here i'm just going to go ahead and start typing okay again another label sum okay so once i type in sum okay I'm gonna go ahead and okay so there's my label I'm gonna go ahead and type in another label okay my second label is gonna be subtraction okay and I'm gonna move it to the next cell okay now we're gonna have a multiplication okay now right here if I hit enter my insertion point I mean yeah Okay, uh, the next cell below is going to be the one highlighted, okay? Remember that we could use, okay, the arrows on the keyboard to bring the pointer into place, okay? In this case, I want to go to D3, okay? Now, pay attention, to, uh, this is very important, okay? Right now, uh, pay attention to what we have here, okay? Um, remember that we have the, uh, the title here. Okay, now the title, we type in the title into cell A1. Okay, it looks like it's going into B1, C1, and D1. Okay, but no, 
in reality, okay, all we type it here into cell A1, it went into that particular cell. Okay, now let me go ahead and stretch this column. Okay, in Excel, we will have this ability to stretch a column. I'm gonna bring my pointer into that little line that is dividing A and B. I'm gonna left click and then I'm gonna drag it over. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going, 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 going I, until I pass day three. Okay, now right here I'm gonna let go, I'm gonna release the left button and see what happens. See? The title went into Welcome to International College Day 3. See, it went only into cell A1. You guys can see now on A3 we had some and the column is expanded because we expand the column above. Okay? Now something similar is gonna happen right here. You guys are gonna look into B3 and it says subtraction. Now when I click into that and I look into the formula bar, see? I have the correct word, but we don't see everything displayed here. Right? Why? Because then on the next cell I have multiplication label. Okay? Okay. We have this other label, multiplication. Now, same thing, multiplication kind of goes into the next cell. Okay? So subtraction we can see it because multiplication is here, so it's kind of cutting off subtraction. Okay? Um pay attention to this because this is very common in Excel. You guys probably gonna say, hey, I'm missing something. No. Look into your formula bar, as long as you have the correct cell selected, and look into the formula bar. And we see that we have the correct value, I'm um, sorry, label, then we are good. Okay, now when I click into uh, C3, see there's multiplication, and we could see it because there's no other label on D3. Okay, now look what's gonna happen when I click on D3. And this time I'm gonna type in division, enter. See, now it's gonna be cutting off multiplication. Okay, now how can we correct the problem? Okay, we bring the pointer into the line that is dividing B and C, left click, hold, and drag over. Okay, another way to fix this is if we bring a pointer right here into the line that is dividing C and D column, and once we see this particular icon, if we double click. Just double click and see the column is gonna be resized automatically and multiplication is gonna fit right into the width of the column. Okay, on division we don't need to do that. Okay, now let me go ahead and zoom in. We are right now. Let me go ahead and zoom in. There it goes. Okay, and let me see one more option. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and change for now. I'm gonna change my view. Okay, into the touch. Screen, okay, now so we can see things better. Now, uh, there's a title, okay. We have a um, label, sum, subtraction, multiplication, division. Okay, so we learn how to resize these columns to display all the contents. Okay, now in this case, a sum is gonna have a lot of space, so that's okay. I'm gonna left click between A and B, I'm gonna hold this down, and then I'm gonna bring it over. Okay, because I don't want to have that, you know, that big gap, okay, that big space into that particular column. Now, this is just my title, okay? So, here. Now, we have some subtraction, multiplication, and division, okay? So, those are our labels. Now, why we are typing this? Because we are going to type in some data here, and then we are going to start working with some basic formulas okay so now that i click here on a5 okay i'm gonna go ahead and start typing in some numbers okay i'm gonna go ahead and start typing in some numbers let me see okay every time that we type in a number when we finish we hit enter and then we move into the next cell below okay now, notice that every time that we type in, okay, uh, every time that we type in a label, the label is always going to be left aligned. Always. Okay, you just look into every label, you see the text is being left aligned. Values, okay, in Excel, the numbers we always, are always going to be referred to values. Now, the values, when we type in the values, 
see the values are always going to be right aligned into the cell. Okay. Now, now that we have this, let's go ahead and type in some numbers over here under subtraction. Okay. So in this case, um, it's going to be a little bit different. Okay. I'm just going to get two numbers. Okay. Now multiplication. Okay. Let's say that we have. Um, um, there you go. Now we have some numbers. Okay. And then division. Let's say that we want to divide. 45,278, and we want to divide that by 45. Okay, there we go. So, there's our information. Okay, now we've been working for almost seven minutes in this spreadsheet. Okay, it's very important, and I always recommend to all my students please, okay, at least every five minutes, make sure that you guys click on save. Right now, we haven't worked, uh, saved this workbook. Okay, we haven't saved this workbook. But it's always recommended that at least every five minutes. Okay, by default, Excel is gonna try to save your uh, your spreadsheet every ten minutes. But I don't trust it. Like I always say, you guys are gonna hear me saying that during this webinars, more uh, pretty much every day. Okay, you guys don't wanna work with two three hours and then you know your computer froze and you guys lost all all your work. Okay. How we are gonna save this? Okay, this is how we are gonna save it. If you guys go back to file, okay, we're gonna be using save as. Now, when we click on save as, okay, right here on the right hand side, I'm gonna be saving this under my computer. So I'm gonna click computer, and then on the right hand side, see, I'm gonna have a list of different folders in my computer. Okay, uh, on this day, this is what you guys are gonna be doing also. Okay, you guys are gonna select my documents. Now this particular window is going to open. Okay, this is the save as dialog box that is going to open up. Now on the left hand side we are going to have our navigation pane where we could go to different places. If I don't see anything else after music, I could just scroll down and look for the folder that I'm looking for. Okay, so from here we have different locations. Maybe I want to save it into a different drive, etc. etc. Okay. We can also left click and drag this uh, this scroll bar, okay. And basically, this is gonna go under documents. Anything that we select here into this navigation pane, the contents are gonna be displayed in this window on the right hand side, okay. Now these are the folders that I have under, okay, my documents, okay. Another important thing, look up here, okay. This is your file explorer pad, okay. So when we open the save as the dialog box here, it first went into libraries and then documents. Okay, now in this documents folder, you guys are gonna create a new folder. Okay, here's that option to create a new folder. One click, the new folder is gonna be created and it's gonna be highlighted. As long as it's still highlighted, that means that we could go ahead and type in the new name for this folder. Okay, so this is uh, we're gonna rename this folder Excel. 2013 um, files. Okay, Excel 2013 files. Now I'm gonna create a space. The reason why we do this is because we also wanna keep. Okay, uh, we wanna keep things organized on on our computer. Okay. Um, there you go. Now I normally and always, okay, I uh, also suggest that we use the dates. Okay, down the road you guys will see why we use the dates because anytime that you guys are looking for any data, I mean, we're gonna have everything uh, broken down into dates, so it's gonna be easier to retrieve, okay, or to look for a file, etc. Okay, so there's a name, Excel 2003 files, and I'm typing today's date, which is um, April 17. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna go, uh, there you go, April 17, 2013. That's the day that I create this folder. Okay, once I create that folder, I'm gonna click on open. The folder is selected, I'm gonna click open, and then I need to give up. This book, I need to give them a file. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, uh, okay, intro, solution to Excel 
2013 okay basic operations okay and guess what I'm also gonna be using the um, during the webinar I'm gonna be asking you guys to please 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 use the dates okay um, in this case I'm just gonna be using April okay I'm just gonna be using April 2013 okay and then I'm gonna click on save now if you guys look into the title bar there's a name introduction okay so if we look up here we have the introduction to Excel 2013 basic operations okay so um, there it goes okay so that's our the name for our new book okay now let's go ahead and continue here okay so basically we're gonna be doing some basic operations here okay Excel is all about labels values and formulas okay now in this case right here we're gonna start working with formulas okay now um, I'm just gonna go ahead and add something else here okay I'm gonna click on this cell a9 and I wanna add a double border right below 2541 the reason is because we are gonna have a double border so we know okay that any number that we get here is gonna be basically the result of this addition okay and then I'm gonna do that into the other cells okay so basically I'm gonna click into that cell A8 A8 now if I look for my borders okay now that I switch this around okay here's my borders okay and basically I'm gonna be using bottom double border one click okay uh, the borders is always going to be right here under the font tab and under the font group. Okay. Anytime that you guys see these little triangles, okay, uh, on the side is because there's going to be more options. Okay. When I click into, see, my fill color, there's other options. On the A for the font, see, there's other options. Okay. Now, I'm going to go to the other one and I'm going to do the same thing. Drop down arrow and double bottom border. Okay, I'm gonna click on the other one and I'm gonna do the same thing. Bottom double border and then again. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and start working with some formulas here okay um anytime that we type in a formula it's always gonna start with the equal sign always 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 okay now we are gonna be using the clicking method okay so here's the equal okay now after we type in the equal we are gonna bring a pointer and click into the cell that we wanna include okay into this addition after that i'm gonna be using my plus sign because in this case we wanna add click into the second cell, type in another plus, click into the next cell, another plus, and then click into the last cell. Okay? Now, if you guys notice, in, if you guys look into the formula bar, okay, there's my formula. Everything, the whole formula that we type into A9, is also going up here into the formula bar. Now, Excel is always going to be using this color coded, okay? So when I type in A5, see, it's highlighting this particular cell A5 with this color. The next one with different color, etc., etc. Uh, and the reason is because that's going to be easier for us to track if we miss one of those cells. Okay. Now, you remember we always be again with equal. Okay. Now we are not going to see the number when we type in the name of the cell. We're never gonna see the number, we're only gonna see the name of the cell. Okay, so we have A5, A6, A7, A8. Okay, or denominator in this case is the plus because we wanna add. When we finish, all we need to do is just hit enter on your keyboard. Okay, and there's our total. Okay, so the addition of those four numbers is 17,329. Okay. 
Now, right here, let's go ahead and do an subtraction. Okay. Again, we're going to start with equal. I'm going to click into the first number. In this case, my denominator is going to be the minus. Okay. On computers, on the laptops, if you guys don't have the, uh, the numeric pad, okay, use it, this, uh, the dash. The dash is going to act as your minus denominator. Okay, and then we click into the second cell. And Excel is just going to follow the same path. See, equals B5 in color minus B6. If you guys look into the formula bar, we also have the formula there. What we need to do is hit enter. Okay, now the subtraction of these two numbers is 1860. Okay, now to divide, uh, to multiply, same process, okay. Now there's my equals, okay, C5, okay, on your computer you guys are going to be using the asterisk, the asterisk is going to be your multiplicator in this case, okay, your multiplication sign. Now I click into the second cell, so there's my formula, equals C5 times C6, and then we hit enter. Okay, so the multiplication of 789 times 6523 is 514,647. Okay, now let's go ahead and do the next one. Okay, now this is going to be a division. Okay, so now you guys could see why, why we use uh, labels, right? Because this label is telling me, hey, this is going to be our sum, this is going to be a subtraction, this is going to be a multiplication, and this is going to be your division. Okay? Now, right here, let's do the division. Okay? Equals, first number, and then forward slash. Forward slash is going to be your divider. Okay? I mean, your division sign. Okay? Forward slash. Okay? Um... Right after that, we click in and we select the cell that we want to use in this case. Okay. And which is D6. Okay. So our formula here is equal D5 divided by D6. And then we hit enter. Okay. As you guys can see, now in this case, it's giving me decimals. Okay. So if we have 45,278, we divide that by 45. Their result is gonna be one thousand six and eighteen. Okay, so in this case, it's giving me decimals. Okay, on these other results, we only had the whole number, whole number, no decimals. Okay, now again, about five minutes went by. We're just gonna come up here and click into save. Okay, now. Okay. Uh, so these are this is what we're gonna start with, okay? These are the basic operations, basic formulas, okay? Now right here, um, let me see. Now I'm just gonna come up here into cell A2, okay? Let's say that right here I'm gonna need an extra row, okay? Anytime that you guys wanna add an extra row, bring the pointer and click into the number two. When you guys click into the number two, okay, uh, the whole row is gonna be highlighted, okay? Now remember that we have a couple of thousands of <laughs> columns, right? So the whole column is going to be selected. Okay? Now why we select the column? Because right now, if we click into the Home tab, okay, under the ribbon, we are going to have our commands. Now right here, I'm going to go to this option. Under the Sales group, I'm going to have the Insert option. Okay? Now right here, when I click into the Down arrow, it's giving me to three options okay insert cells insert sheet rows or insert a new sheet okay so i'm gonna need a sheet row when i click into that you guys are gonna see that we have a new row okay and the data that we have here is just moved down to the next row okay we could also do that adding columns okay but that's going to be into another query, okay? Now, right here, um, I'm going to click into A3, cell A3, okay? Now, what is going to be our denominator to add, okay? It's going to be our, our plus sign, 
okay now the dash is gonna be your divider um, and subtraction denominator okay asterisk is gonna be your multiplication denominator okay and the forward slash and the forward slash basically is gonna be Mm -hmm. Okay, forward slash is gonna be or division. Okay, denominator. Uh, in Excel, uh, we can select more than one cell at the same time. Every time that we select more than one cell, see, we are gonna be referring to this as a range. Okay, anytime that you guys select more than one cell, it's going to be a range. Okay, more than one cell selected. How can we select more than one cell? Left click at the beginning, hold the left button, and then go to your right hand side. Now, one more thing, okay. Uh, please remember that these tutorials, okay, um, when we create these tutorials, okay, all the instructions that are, we are given is using, okay, the mouse. We could definitely use the touchpad, but it's going to be a little bit harder, and especially if we don't have much experience on the computer, and especially highlighting and selecting multiple items, okay? So all the instructions that we give here are using the a mouse, okay? So there's my selection, okay? Now if I look under the alignment group, I'm going to see this option, which is the center alignment. I'm just going to be centering those, see? different signs that are typing into those particular cells okay now to make things um, more visible okay um, if you guys been already through one of our courses okay Microsoft Word the PowerPoint you guys are gonna be very familiar with the home and home group now from here I'm just gonna click a couple of times you know, just to resize okay just to resize those particular signs okay and there we have it okay so now I'm gonna do the same thing with some block. Left click, hold and drag over. I'm gonna use my center option. Okay. So this is our addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division in Excel. Okay. Um let's go ahead and add something else here. Because Excel also gives us this ability. Okay. And it's going to be highlighting from A3 through D6. And this is something that we are going to be using a lot on Excel, okay, borders. Before we use the bottom border, this time, depending on my range, see my range is A3 through D6. And I'm going to be applying some all borders. And what is going to do? This is going to help me, see, to read my information better. Okay? I didn't select this range, so right I'm going to go here and highlight them, and then I'm going to apply my borders. Okay, now do you guys see what happened here? We get rid of that double bottom border, so I'm going to have to come back and use my bottom double border. And right here, I'm going to do that in multiple cells, starting on B7 to D7. Do, uh, bottom double border. There we go. Okay. So, borders, we're going to be using borders a lot, also in Excel. Okay. And basically, because they're going to help us see to, you know, to better understand, okay, our table here. Okay. Um. There we go. Okay, so this is day three. This is what we are going to be working on day three. Okay, on some day three, we are going to be creating another. Okay, another session, another video tutorial. Okay, so this is just introduction. Okay, day number three, exercise one, basic operations into Excel. Thank you guys and until next video. Tutorial. Bye bye.